Hey, our goal today is to track button clicks using Google Tag Manager. Let's take a quick look at the process. The button is clicked. That information is passed to the data layer. We are going to be able to pick that information up and define a trigger in Google Tag Manager. And ultimately, we're going to create a tag that connects Google Tag Manager and the information we have from that button to be tracked into Google Analytics. So here's the button I would actually like to track. I want to track every time someone clicks the search button. However, I don't know the specific HTML markup that's attached to this search button. So first, we're going to have to go over to Google Tag Manager and create a trigger. Now, that trigger needs to be generic because I don't know the specific HTML markup on that search button. So let's go to triggers, create new. We know we want to track this via an event using a click. I'm going to call that a click trigger. I want that to fire on all elements. The other option is links. However, uh, I, we don't know if that is a link or just an HTML element. So let's keep it all elements. Continue. I want that to fire on all clicks. So let's create our trigger. Now that the trigger is actually created, we need to check what information is being passed into the data layer. So let's go into the preview and debug mode. This will allow us to see the information on the website and specifically the information that the button click is generating in the data layer. Now that we're in the preview and debug mode, let's go over to the website and refresh it so that the Google Tag Manager debug mode can open at the bottom of the page. And I'm going to click our search button to find what information is being passed into the data layer. So now that the information is being passed into our data layer, we can highlight the click. We can see in the data layer, the information is here, click classes. We can also see the variables attached, which will help us define that trigger when we go back to Google Tag Manager. And we can see the event is called GTM click. The click class is called search button. Now we can use this to actually define our click. So let's go back to Google Tag Manager. Let's go back to our trigger. We know that we have defined this as just a click trigger, but let's define it even more. We can keep the click as the event. However, let's change the name to search button click trigger. Keep it as a click. Fire on all elements because now we know that it's not a link. However, fire on and configure the trigger. We know that there's a specific name for this. So we can go back. It's called search button. I'm just going to highlight that information there. Let's make this search button. We can call it equals to. We can save that trigger. Now that we have that trigger, we can actually attach the trigger to a tag. So let's create a tag using the tag function here. We know we want to create a Google Analytics tag. Let's keep it universal. Now that we have the tracking ID, if you don't know your Google Analytics ID, you can go over to Google Analytics and get it. However, I've already defined this 
has a dynamic variable as Google Analytics ID. Now what kind of track type? We know this is an event. So then once it's an event, we need to define it. Let's call it a click. And we can call it a button click. Let's be more clear, search button click. And we want to give it a label. Now this is very important. Because that search button is on all the pages, I want to know which page it's actually um, being clicked on. So you can create a dynamic label called page path. Of course, you could use page URL if you like. This is going to be totally up to you. And because we don't want to affect the bounce rate, we're going to leave this as false. Continue. Now, fire on, we need to make sure that this is fire every time someone clicks the search button. So, let's do more. And we know we're going to use our search button click trigger. Save. Create the tag. Let's give it a specific name. Let's call it GA search button clicks. As and let's spell search correctly. We can save it. Now let's make sure we're in the preview and debug mode so we can see that this is actually firing correctly. Let's go back to our website, hit refresh to refresh the information. Our debug mode will open. We see that the universal analytics tag is fired. Now let's see what happens when we click search. We can see that I Google analytics search button click. It's also fired. Now, for a quality assurance, let's open up our analytics. Events. We can see here that the click is actually being pulled in. So you can see the event category, search button clicks. The last step in the process is publish your tag. And you're complete. Please leave any comments, suggestions, criticisms in the section below. If you need any help, don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask questions. Thank you.